Hello, my little artists. I hope you guys enjoyed that Maddie and Dada cartoon about Vincent Van Gogh. And today we are going to be learning how to draw probably one of my most famous favorite paintings in the whole world, Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. So first thing you need to do is you need to get your pencil. Your paper is going along landscape today. I've got my Sharpie so you can see what I'm drawing. We are going to start by writing our name at the top. And then we are going to flip our paper over on the back so that we can get ready and draw. So take a second, get your name, flip your paper over, and we are going to get started. Okay, now the first thing we are going to do is we are going to talk, well first of all, we're going to talk about how this picture is set up. Because in this picture, this painting, we have three different parts. We have the foreground, the middle ground, and the background. Foreground means all the things that are really close to us. Middle ground are things that are just a little off in the distance. And then the background are the things that are really, really, really far away, okay? So the foreground, we have this big tree, which is called a cypress tree. This is in the foreground. It's right up front. It's the biggest thing in the picture, okay? It's right up front, okay? And then a little bit further away, we have the middle ground, which we've got these buildings, the bushes, and the mountains, okay? This is all in the middle of our picture, okay? It's a little bit away. Like it would take some time to walk there, but it's not too far away. But then the background, that's all the stuff up top. And that's the stuff that's really, really far away from us, okay? So foreground is close to us. Middle ground is a little bit away from us. And then the background is really far away, okay? So we're gonna start by drawing the things in the foreground. Then we're gonna draw the middle ground. And then we're gonna draw the background. Okay, so first thing we have to draw is our cypress tree. Now, as you can see, it's pretty big. We start at the bottom and we go almost to the very top of our picture, okay? Now, these lines, we're just gonna be making these wavy lines. They kind of look like flames, don't they? And we've done flames before when we did our mountain picture. We did the flames, okay? So we're just gonna be doing some flames, flame lines and drawing our big cypress tree over here on the right side, or the left side of our picture, I'm sorry, the left side. So I'm gonna start at the bottom, come up, curve down, and then I'm gonna curve back up, curve down, curve up, curve back down a little bit, curve up, and then I'm gonna curve over and down. Now, does yours have to look exactly like mine? Nope, doesn't have to look exactly like mine. And then I'm just gonna add some curved lines. just to give it a little bit of texture, make it look a little 3D. Just some curved lines. Just fill it in. So just draw you your cypress tree over here on the left. Remember it goes up towards the top of the paper, but doesn't go all the way to the very, very top. Okay, next we're gonna be working on our buildings and some of these little bushes down here. Okay, so I'm gonna start over here on the left side and I'm just gonna make some of these little cloud lines going off to the edge. Little bush over there. I'm gonna come over here and draw another little bush. Okay, 
Now I'm gonna draw me my first building. Now, the first building, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw it near this bush and I'm gonna start by making a pentagon. And a pentagon is a shape that has five sides. So it starts off looking like a square, but then at the top, I'm gonna to add a dot and put a triangle and that makes a pentagon. One, two, three, four, five sides. So I just made a little pentagon and then we'll draw horizontal line back, horizontal line back, connect that. So now I made a rectangle. So I did a pentagon, a rectangle, diagonal line up, and then I'm going to connect the two top points with a horizontal line. And now I've got a little building. Pretty easy. Okay, we'll come over a little bit and we'll start with a rectangle. And then I'm going to add a door and two windows. Then we'll draw a diagonal line, vertical line, diagonal line. Made like a rhombus shape over there. Diagonal up, diagonal up there, connect that with the horizontal. Now this one's going to be like a little church, I'm going to add a steeple on top. So I'm going to start with two little vertical lines, horizontal, and then just like we learned how to make all of our other triangles, I put a top, a dot and then connect it to either side and now it's got a little triangle steeple. Okay, then I'm gonna come over a little bit. I'm gonna start drawing a rectangle but I'm not gonna connect the top yet. And then we'll do another diagonal, kind of like I'm making a pentagon, but I'm going to do this one a little bit different. Then I'm going to draw a line back. Draw me a diagonal. And then I'm going to connect the top. Add a circle and a little door. Okay. Now, in between these two buildings, I'm going to add some little bushes. So I'm going to draw some cloud lines in between. And then I'm going to add some bushes off to the edge. Then I'm going to add one more building down here at the bottom. Start with a little vertical line, diagonal up, then we'll do a long diagonal down, so it kind of looks like an arrow right now, little vertical down, diagonal up, connect the top two. 
I'm going to do a diagonal down and a vertical down. Now we got another little building down there. Okay, so we got our cypress tree and we've got our little village down here. Now we're going to add our horizon line. Okay, so our horizon line is going to go behind our cypress tree and behind our steeple. Okay, so I'm going to start over here. I'm going to draw my vertical or my horizontal line. I'm going to go all across my paper, stopping at my cypress tree and at the little steeple. I'm going to add some mountains. So my mountains are going to start down here and then they're going to go behind my cypress tree and then they're going to go up towards the edge. So they start off low and then they get taller as they go across my paper, okay? I'm going to start over here. Draw a little wavy line all the way over. And then I'm going to add some bushes down here. So some more little cloud lines. And they don't have to look exactly like either one in either of my examples because they all look different too, which is fine. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do, so we did our foreground, we did all of our middle ground, now we have our background, and this is what gives the painting its name, the Starry Night. So, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to draw the wind. Okay, we're going to draw the wind. So I'm going to start by drawing a smiley face from the edge of my paper to my cypress tree. And then it's gonna come up and curve around. Then I'm gonna start inside and I'm gonna curve down, around, up, and then into a swirl, into a little spiral there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a broken line that kind of follows the curve. Above and below. broken line around and don't take it all the way over to the edge because I still need room over here for the moon I'm going to do the moon and then I got to do all the stars so get your wind with the broken lines going above and below and then we're going to do our moon which is a crescent moon. So I'm going to start by making the letter C. And then I'm going to make a smaller C inside of it for a nice pretty crescent moon. And again, we're going to do little broken lines around it. Two rows. And 
and then the stars are the easiest thing. I'm just going to draw five circles. Two, three, four, five. Just draw five little circles. And then you're going to do two rows of broken lines around your stars. And then we're done. We have drawn The Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. The only thing we have left to do is color it. Now, we want this to look as close to the original painting as possible. So I want you guys to copy the colors that I've used. Do your cypress tree in brown, the buildings in black, the bushes and the mountains are green, and then you're going to outline your wind in blue and the stars and the moon in yellow. And then when you're coloring, you can actually, I got a little piece of fuzz right there. When you're coloring, you can color all of this with your yellow crayon inside and then color blue around it with your sky. And the same thing with the moon. You can color all of this yellow from the broken lines in and then color around everything with your blue crayon. Okay, so I hope you guys had fun learning about Vincent Van Gogh and learning how to draw the Starry Night and have fun coloring. And until next time.